Hi everyone, I'm Monique and I'm back with a brand new layout and this time it's for the lovely September Pear Tree Cut Files online crop. So we have a lovely sketch talent for you today and I've created the sample and I'm using this lovely happiness cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files along with some lovely pattern papers from Bella Boulevard. I've used um, some pattern papers from the To The Moon collection as well as my candy girl collection i just love all the bright colors so i'm going to be using a few bits and pieces from each of those so i start off with one of the patterned papers it looks like a whole pile of sprinkles are scattered all over it and i've cut a diagonal piece and distressed the edges and i'm sticking that down to just kind of break up that white cardstock white sheet of cardstock is a sheet of Vicky Booten's foundations paper because I'm going to be doing some mixed media in the background and that's why I've taken hold of my white gesso just so that I can um, add some to that patterned paper because I am going to be adding mixed media and the gesso just allows the paper to um, withhold some of that wetness from the mixed media without getting too warped and saturated so I've added that on and now I'm just going to be stenciling I've got this lovely heart stencil also from Pear Tree Cut Files and I'm just doing a few um, kind of scattered hearts that randomly in the background. The cut file that I'm using for this layout is called Happiness from Pear Tree Cut Files and it's a lovely large title piece and instead of backing the cut file I have taken the, the letter cutouts and I'm using them as a template just to trace letters with various pieces of patterned paper and I'm going to raise those on top of the cut file so that they, they pop out rather than backing the cut file and I've opted for four different colours so a pink, a yellow, a lime green and a turquoise blue um, all from those Bella Boulevard pattern papers that I showed you in the beginning and I've chosen some thread that coordinates quite nicely and I've stitched around each one of those letters and I've distressed the edges just to add a little bit of extra interest and texture. Now I'm laying those out, I've done them in a sequence of pink, yellow, blue and green um, and I'm raising them up with some lovely thin foam strips. I'm loving using these foam strips, they really make um, raising up a cut file so quick and easy and they work really really well. So here I'm just placing them on top of my back background piece of pattern paper and popping my photo in there which I've cut into a heart shape just to kind of um, tie in nicely with all the hearts um, on that cut file and um, I'm just sticking down all these um, letters. I've stuck them down a little bit wonky. I felt the wonkiness just added um, a nice joyful bit of movement to the to the title and I quite like how that looks. Now I've just taken my pencil and I'm just dotting some marks around that cut file because I want to add mixed media and those lines are just going to help me know where to add add my color. So I'm using um, my Ecoline inks and I've picked out the four colors to coordinate with the pattern papers I've used on the cut file and I've diluted the inks a little bit with some water because they are really really intense and I don't want them to overpower um, the, the title. So I've diluted them to soften the colors a bit and I'm just using those lines as a guide to, to help me work out where to add the paint. Um, so I, you can see there I'm not touching the colors together just yet. I want to have a bit of control of those inks. So I'm allowing them to dry just a little bit in between and um, there I have mixed a little bit of yellow and pink together so I've got a little bit of blending where the colors um, meet but not too much. I'm trying to control that mixing so that you see mostly the, the solid colors and I'm doing a tone on tone effect so wherever there is pink on the cut file I'm going to have pink in the background and so on. So um, it looks a bit like a mess <laughs> but when the cut files added on top it kind of all works together quite nicely. Now that gesso that I've put onto the pattern paper in the background really helps that um, ink move nicely and it stops the paper getting too soaked. Now I've got a piece of vellum here and I'm taking one of the little heart cutouts from the cut file, the little decorative hearts that are dotted around the cut file and I'm cutting three little vellum hearts for each one of those cut file hearts and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing those on top of each other, folding them and then putting a staple in the middle to kind of join three little vellum hearts together to create a little 3D cluster of hearts which I'm then, then going to um, pop onto the cut file using um, some little foam squares. So I've 
taken some staples in the same color as the ink that's in the background behind the cut file, um, just so that everything is tone on tone and coordinates nicely. So there you can see the three layers of the heart and the lovely dimension it gives just by folding up those different layers. So it's time to get this cut file stuck down. So I'm placing it on top of those um, colors in the background and I've taken some plain craft foam, add, added some adhesive and cut strips um, to stick on the back of that cut file. And I've just added it all along. I'm using some thin strips around the little hearts and then I'm gonna stick that straight onto the background. And I love the height that this gives to the cut file. And it's gonna allow me just to slot the photo in there. Um, but first, I want to just place all those little vellum hearts and I'm going to raise them up with some foam squares in the center so that they're the same height as the cut file, but I'm just putting those foam squares in the center so that the edges of the hearts are free to move about. I love this photo of my, my kids. Um, it was for Valentine's Day a number of years ago and they had cute little matching outfits and it's just such a cute photo and how they were sitting on the sofa really lent itself to the photo being cut in a heart shape. So I've just backed it with some tissue paper which gives a lovely soft edge to the photo and then I've also popped it on top of some of that yellow pattern paper that I used on some of the letters and distressed the edges and now that I know what color um, background um, pattern paper I'm using on the photo I can add some ink behind where the photo is going to be placed so that it coordinates tone on tone and I'm just using my heat tool just to dry it quickly so that I can get on with my layout and I'm also going to be raising this up with some craft foam as well so that it's in line with the title cut file. If you'd like to join us, please do pop along to the Pear Tree Cut Files Facebook group. There is going to be lots of fun happening today for the Pear Tree Cut Files Pear Drop Online Crop. So um, there are four lovely challenges and some lovely prizes, um, including a voucher that you can use in the Pear Tree Cut Files online store. So my layout here and my sketch is just one of four lovely challenges. So do pop along. I've linked everything up for you in the comments below so that you know where to find us and it's really going to be a fun filled day. Now I've taken this lovely sheet of patterned paper with all these colorful hearts from the Candy Girl, My Candy Girl Collection by Bella Boulevard and I've chosen some of these cute little hearts just to cut out and I'm placing them tone on tone. Um, just following along with that sketch, I'm creating three clusters. You will see that I do add hearts all over the, the um, <laughs> layout but I tone it back a little bit and remove some of them and just focus on a cluster below the photo, a cluster above and a cluster to the left of the large title. So um, I'm just going to cut, keep cutting out these hearts. I've also taken one of the other sheets of pattern papers. It's a cut apart sheet where it's got that same heart pattern but much smaller and that allows me to have some lovely variation in those hearts um, as embellishments. Now I've got such a tiny little bit of each of these collections so I'm trying to use as much of them um, as embellishments as possible so I've taken two of the pattern papers one from to the moon collection and one from my candy girl and both of them have lots of words all over the pieces of pattern paper so I've chosen a couple um, sentiments and I fussy cut around them just to place on my layout as additional embellishments in addition to those hearts. I play for a little bit to find just the right place and then I take out my lovely pear tree pieces. So I've got a lovely selection of beautiful little hearts from Pear Tree Cut Files. It's one of their new additions to their online store and they, they are these lovely little felt hearts and they come in various sizes and lots of different colors and I've got so many options to coordinate with all the colors in this layout. So I've placed those around in those clusters and now I've got my silicon glue and I'm just sticking down all of those fussy cut hearts. Um, I love the silicon glue just for adding a little bit of dimension. I folded all of the hearts so um, I've added some glue um, and it allows those hearts to retain their kind of folded three-dimensional shape. Now I am sticking down those sentiments, I'm just finding the right place for for all of those hearts. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see all your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need 
stuck down all my fussy cut embellishments and those lovely petri pieces i've taken out some lovely enamel hearts that i've got in my stash and i'm just finding the right right pieces in the right sizes and colors and dotting them about now i do take some of the little felt hearts and some of the stickers that i've stuck down i'll take them off just so that i can concentrate on those those three clusters um, because i do feel like i went a little bit overboard and put hearts everywhere and it kind of lost focus a little bit so i did remove some of them just to focus on those three clusters now i've got four different Color, colorways of sequins and they match that ink in the background just perfectly so I'm just taking little mini handfuls fingerfuls more like and just scattering them around those three clusters and I'm um, just to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of extra interest and I'm just going in with my Nouveau Deluxe glue I love this um, adhesive it sticks so beautifully and this bottle never clogs up which is probably my favorite thing about it um, and I'm just going in sticking them all down and I am just about done now with all the shimmery sequins I really want to add just a little bit more shimmer so I've got this lovely Nouveau glimmer paste in the moonstone color and I'm just using my finger just to smear some over those letters and in a moment you're gonna see my daughter hand hands she came along and wanted to help out so there she is um, she's putting um, some lovely sparkles onto the s and I just love seeing those teeny tiny little hands um, that in itself is going to be a cute memory one day when those hands are a whole lot bigger so I've decided now just to add in a little tab to that photo so that I can add the date so I've just used my tab punch and used the same pattern paper that I've used in the background and added the date, distressed the edges and stuck that in. And now my layout is complete, or just about complete. So I did stick that tab on top of a few sequins. So I've just added a few more just to finish it off. And here are some close-ups. You can see all the shimmer from those lovely sequins and that lovely glimmer paste and the beautiful texture from that Petri Cut file stencil in the background, those lovely vellum hearts, and of course, that beautiful cut file, which I absolutely love. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching this layout come together. If you've enjoyed my video, I'd be so very grateful if you chose to subscribe to my channel. I really, really do appreciate every like, every comment, and every single one of my subscribers. I can't tell you how much joy your lovely comments bring when I read them. So a very big thank you to you all. You can also find me on Instagram at Handmade Happy by Monique. And of course, I'll be linking up Petri Cut Files in the description box below. Please do pop along and join us. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!